come up with that kind of products instant underwear just add water so let's open it up what so this is like compressed towels except it's an underwear or something like that we'll find out in a second and it says all I have to do is just add water so it does look like compressed towel but I think it will be just in the shape of an underwear I'm going to add water outside so that way I don't make a mess. So what you're going to do is put a little bit of water I guess. Nothing happening. Maybe to the side. Still like a break. Let's just put it in the water for now. See what happens. Well, still dry. Usually with those towels you just add a little bit of water and then they fluff up. I don't know what's on with this one. I guess it doesn't really absorb the water that well. It just helps it to open it up. It's still kind of wet on this side though. Okay, let's open it all the way. See what it looks like. Oh wow, no way, there's a rubber stains, feels a little wet, so now you got yourself instant wet underwear, that is so weird. So looks like underwear, right? There's a top and there's two holes for the legs. Although they say it's instant underwear, now it's kind of wet a little bit because it even says add water. Why would you want to wear wet underwear? So I'd have to wait till they dry out before I can wear it. So not early instant. Honestly, this is the weirdest product of the video, for sure. I never seen anything like that. And why? Tell me guys, why they have made this? This right here, probably the weirdest umbrella I've ever seen. First of all, this is the best umbrella. It inverts like that when you hold it like that. So if the wind breaks it, not a big deal. It's not going to get broken. Beside that, when you go into the house and close it and hold it like that, all the water will go inside of it, so that way when you leave, you take it out and shake off all the water. It's not going to make a mess on the floor. And the most important, when you go in the car, regular umbrellas, you have to close it and then you have to sit down because it will be in a way to close it. Well, with this one, you can press it and close it like this. And you know what, a lot of times in the parking lot, you can't even open the door all the way. And it's raining really, really bad, and the girls don't want to get their hair wet, mess them up. They can sit down like this, and then close it, check this out, boom. And then hold it up so all the water doesn't shake on you. And set it over here on our side, in the passenger seat, and all the water will be inside. And then when you come out, you can open the door even this much lift it open very easy i love it and the best part you can also do it super fast Boom. you don't have to worry about getting stuck but why is the most weirdest umbrella ever because it's a have a cup holder so let's say you have cell phone in this hand in this hand you have umbrella where you're going to put coffee umbrella cup holder boom awesome i love it this is probably the weirdest pen i ever seen so guys this is supposed to be the most comfortable pen in the world at least that's what they advertise normally i would write like this i'm sure everybody does as well but what they advertise in the picture you put it in your finger like this this finger goes in here, here, and here. Okay, let's try to write something, see how it feels. How are you? Oh, question mark. It's kind of hard to write it. If I write it like this, how are you? Honestly, it's way more comfortable to write like this versus like that. How are you in Russian? It's как дела? Как 
dilla question mark and if I write it like this cock oh man I mess up all the time because I want to write in English nowadays because I write so much in English cock dilla I know I kind of preferred holding it like this than like that. I would have to re-learn myself how to use this pen because yeah, it is kind of comfortable, but in my opinion, because I'm so used to writing like that, this is just as comfortable. So although they say this is most comfortable pen, I'll tell you what, this is the most weirdest pen. I don't know about the most comfortable pen because it feels just as comfortable if I hold it like that. For the next weird product I got here, bottle opener gun. So what you do is charge like right here, it locks in, then you open the bottle and then you can shoot it. Let's see if it's actually going to shoot the bottle cup. Okay, let's try to put to the test this gun bottle opener. Open it all the way, put it in, into the bottle, Coca-Cola, whatever you got, and then it holds the bottle, cup, and then we shoot, see what happens. Oh, pretty cool, flies at least like, what, six feet? Doesn't fly too hard, so I don't think it would injure somebody, but again, don't point it in somebody's face. Pretty cool bottle opener, don't you guys think? For the next weirdest product I got here, USB rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries, you know, they've been existed for many, many years, but not this kind. This is so weird. Let me show you. This is, looks like AAA batteries, and the weirdest part, the way they recharge. You know, you would have to have some kind of rechargeable block that you put your batteries in and then plug it in into the wall. This one, there is Android wire, you stick it in into the battery like that. How unique is this? And looks like there is four ports and you plug in all of them and then you just plug it into the phone charger, I guess. Have you seen anything like that? This is such a weird batteries that you actually plug it in just like your phone to recharge your batteries. Definitely super weird product. I don't know why they made batteries like that. I guess make it easier because everybody have Android chargers like that. You can just use any of them to recharge the battery and not look for the rechargeable battery block. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which product was the most weirdest and unique. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video. That way it lets me know that you like this kind of videos and I'm going to do more. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.